about early in the morning, getting my walk in. <sighs> my husband was working. He didn't want me to come out by myself and walk in the neighborhood. So he said, I'm going to come with you. He got dressed and everything. And he's barely paddling around, taking forever like he does. So I said, I'm going to go ahead and get started because he put me behind. I got a lot to do today and I want to go ahead and get this walk out of the way. But the sun is shining and guys, my glasses are getting darker. I will be talking about these glasses later in the vlog and possibly in a different video because not all of you watch my vlogs and not all of you watch my videos. But anyway, let me go ahead and get this walk on. I'll catch up with you when I get back home. and now I am getting ready to clean these makeup brushes that I've been talking about forever and a day. So what I'm gonna do is add just a little bit of hot water to this. And I got this idea from Jen Jackson. I don't know if you guys watch her uh, vlogs or not, but she um, cleaned her makeup brush brushes this way, only she used, I think, Dawn dish detergent. I'm not gonna use Dawn, but I am gonna use my makeup brush shampoo. So I'm just gonna squirt a little bit of that down in here, add a little bit of hot water, or warm water. And then I'm gonna add just a little bit of vinegar to it and let these soak in it. And then after they've soaked a little while, then I'll clean them with my little cleaner. But in the meantime, while these are soaking, I know you guys are like, oh, where did she get those glasses? I haven't seen those before. As you know, every once in a while, I'll take out my contacts and just give my eyes a rest. And so that's what I did today. However, today, these glasses that I have here are from Hip Optical. So I am partnering with Hip Optical to bring you guys these glasses. So let me just show you what they look like. They come in a box like this. So it's very nice. A nice little case that they give you. Nice black case, nice and sleek. And then it also has an anti-fog cloth. So Hip Optical reached out to me, asked me if they, if they could um, send me a pair of glasses. And I said, sure. So these are the glasses that they sent me. So one reason why I say yes to them is because one, their glasses are made in the USA. So that is a plus for me. If we can get our manufacturing and things back here in the US, that's gonna help people here with jobs, right? So I like that aspect of it. The other thing is they offer a 30 day money back guarantee. So you get to get your glasses, try them out for 30 days. If you're not completely satisfied, you can send them back and get your money back. So that is a plus for me as well. The other thing that I liked is that for every glass that is bought, they will donate a uh, pair of eyeglasses to the needy. So again, paying it forward. So I like that. Guys, those are the three things that stuck out to me. And that's why I wanted to go ahead and give them a tryout. So they sent me these glasses. I like them. I do feel like they are really good quality. I like the style. You don't have to get this style. You can get whatever style. I do wanna let you know that all their single vision glasses cost $95. If you have a stronger prescription or you do progressives, then of course that's gonna be a little bit more, but everything starts out at $95. That does include UV rate um, protection. That does include the very thin lenses. Um, 
and things like that. So a lot of those basics are included in the $95. You want blue light or you want transition where they go, you know, from clear to, to a little bit darker when you get out in the sun, that's gonna be a little bit extra. But $95 is not bad for a nice pair of prescription glasses. Now me, my I have progressives. And when I go and I buy a pair of gla glasses with my prescript progressives, prescription I'm paying upward of 400 and something dollars so to be able to get a pair of glasses for substantially less than that I think is a good deal again these were sent to me so I'm not sure exactly what the price is for progressives and once you add on whatever else you want on there you'll have to go on the site and see but I do want to let you know that they were kind enough to give me a discount code which is Ray Ray I'll put it on the screen so if you decide that you want to go over look at their glasses maybe pick up a pair you do get $15 off your first pair if you use that discount code if you buy two pair you get $30 off this is for a limited time though it's only for 90 days so if you're interested you may want to go ahead and click that link in the description box get over there and go ahead and make your purchase so you can save $15 or either $30 so all right got that out of the way in the meantime tell me what y'all think about these glasses I like them so I think these have um, been soaking quite a bit. As you can see, the water is already getting nice and cloudy. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these cleaned up and get this off my plate. So she wanna know me, I stay low key, all gas, no brakes, baby, let them hoes sleep. Body on to make your girl OD. I get in my way, never out of my lane. Feel like you the one in the more one. So what it's gonna be? Baby squad up, we finna go deep. Is you riding on a team? Got what you need. Baby, won't you keep me company? Give me something to do when I get low. Okay guys, so I got all the brushes cleaned up. They're laying out here to dry. And I just wanna say, um, I'm glad that I have found Jen Jackson cleaning her brushes because this Eco Tools Makeup Brush Shampoo is pretty good. And this is what I used to use alone. And it did the job, but just adding that touch of vinegar to it, it's something about that vinegar that just breaks down all that makeup on your brushes really easily. So um, adding that touch of vinegar to it takes it up a notch. And then also using a bowl like this, cause I used to use a bigger thing and all my makeup brushes just uh, laid down in there. And then I would make my soapy water or whatever. But using a bowl like this is nice because again, your brushes are standing up soaking so your handles aren't getting real wet, especially if you have wooden handles, you know, letting them soak in water can um, make them crack. I don't know if that's ever happened to you before, but it has to me, especially like my elf brushes and things like that would um, tend to crack after a while, but having them stand up helps them not to just be laying in water. So yeah, you guys, and try that method and again I got it from Jen Jackson so shout out to her if you have not been over to her um, her site I'd say go over there and check her out so now I'm getting ready to get this kitchen cleaned up from breakfast and I'll be back be brought lunch back so I just had him bring me a grilled cheese sandwich with bacon on it it's really good and chips
right guys what is up got cotton with me my right hand actually i just got done washing my hair and sitting under the dryer so i haven't stretched it or anything it's still a little bit wet under here and under here so i'm just trying to let it um air dry a little bit finish air drying a little bit but in the meantime i got a grocery pickup i need to get so i got y'all in the car with um, me doing that and I just brought Cotton with me just so he can kind of get a little bit of fresh air and get out and see some sunshine so, but yeah he hadn't been in the car for a minute so I thought I'd bring him with me you know, be wanting to get out back here in the back when they put the groceries in the car I'm actually going to a different Kroger today normally I go to one back that direction this time I'm going to one up this direction I don't know and that's why I'm just doing a little bit differently and uh, this hair like I said I just washed it it's a uh, wash and go very defined I was trying to use something up and I was using a combination that my subscriber gave me well she gave me a leave-in to use with a gel I'd already reviewed I thought that I would use, try that combination. So my hair is very clumped together and has not been stretched or anything. Like I said, it's still just a tad bit wet. It's, it's a, it ain't even nothing really to talk about. It's just a tad bit wet right there and I might go ahead and just diffuse that when I get home and go ahead and stretch it and finish it out. Or I might just wait, leave it as is because I don't plan on going anywhere today besides to the grocery. Um, I thought about getting my eyebrows done, which need to be done. They've been needing to be done for a minute, but just haven't had the opportunity. So, um, but yeah, I don't plan on doing a whole lot today, so I might just leave it be and stretch it tomorrow because I do have somewhere to be tomorrow. So, anyway, that's it. But, um, you guys, I'm sure you see these glasses again. I actually am getting used to them. As you can see, they are, um, transitions are getting a little bit darker as I get down the sunshine but they're not um, like um, well I guess they're keeping the sun down just a little bit but they're not like sunglasses sunglasses so I do want to let, let you know that alrighty so I'll get back with y'all when I get my groceries cotton oh by the way if y'all like that that cotton needs a haircut yes he does his hair is growing down into his eyes stay in your seat no uh i forgot to set his um uh, monthly he goes once a month so i forgot to set his monthly grooming appointment and when i thought about it i was like oh no i thought about it i think it was the week before he was supposed to go he would normally go I called her and she was like, I'm booked. The earliest I can get him in is XYZ. So I said, I take it. And I, I'm like, and it's a 10 o'clock appointment. I don't like them early appointments. Y'all know I'm not an early person. And so I said, well, do you have anything later in the day? And she was like, no. I should ask her if she had anything later that week. But I did not say, go ahead and put me down because he needs it. So he is well past his regular monthly appointment. So that's why he's looking like him when he's still but look, his little eyes, his little hair up here, it looks like his, you know, like like his, uh, like it would be his eyebrows, I guess. It looks like they're growing down into his little eyeballs. So, yeah, he'll be getting a, uh, I think it's next week, actually. No, oh, hold on. It's this week. Yeah, I think it's next week he'll have his grooming appointment. So, say hi to the peeps, Scotty. Say hi to the sun rays. Look, look that way. Anyway, guys, I'll uh, get back on here when I get there. Okay, guys, so we are here. I let him know I'm in the spot. Dang, they're here already. Oh! Oh, you scared me. Yes, that's me. Did you have any coupons today? I did not. Alrighty, I'll get you all loaded up. Okay. Oh, excuse me. 
My fruit, can I see my fruit up here, please? Your uh, fruit? Yes. yes I just want to take a look at it. got was strawberries, right? I think all I got was strawberries. Okay, I just want to take a look at them real quick. Thank you. Can, you too. So that's good. That's the only thing I got. I thought I had gotten some blueberries, but then I remembered I didn't get any blueberries. So well, he got out here quick. I saw him coming, and um, I thought he was just gonna stand back back here and open up the thing. But I guess he did want to, cause I had already told him what aisle I was in. So I guess he just wanted to double check. So when I went to open up my door to look at something. Standing right over here, so I didn't have my mask on. Um, but anyway, he was real nice. She out there, she 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 really looking at her stuff, inspecting her stuff. I like to inspect mine too, but not everything. Um, but they are Johnny on the spot, so that's good. The other place is quick too, but um, yeah, I just pulled up and he brought my stuff out, so I'm like, cool. So now, I get this stuff back to the house. Actually, I did this tour toward the end, not the end of the day, I mean, it's afternoon. But I did it late enough where I figured I could get my hair done and dry and Avery and I could come together and pick up the groceries and, um, or maybe get something to eat and then pick up the groceries. But Avery ended up making us some lunch at the house. So that was nice. Um, and then he decided he was going to go get a haircut. <laughs> and I'm like, oh man, I was going to have us pick up groceries. He's like, sorry. So he went to try to go get a haircut. So I'm picking up groceries on my own. Hopefully he'll be home when I get home so he can help me bring them in. But if he's not, I'll do it. It ain't no big deal because I didn't get a whole lot of stuff. I just got, you know, odds and ends fruit for our oatmeal and for that yogurt I'm trying to eat. I think I talked about that in the previous vlog. Not a yogurt person, but I'm trying. And then, um, well, y'all see if I do a grocery haul. Maybe I'll just go ahead and do a grocery haul when we get home. So that's what I'll do. Y'all see what I got. But I ain't get hardly nothing. A whole lot of odds and ends. Um, and then I got some um, stuff that I should have probably picked up at Walmart, the dollar store, or Target. So it was more like cleaning, like household items. Grocery store probably ain't the best place to get them sometimes, but since I was already placing the order, I said, you know what, I'm just gonna get everything at one place, one stop shopping and be done with it. So that's what I did. So I'll show y'all when I get to the house. And little bit over here, he got him a little ride. He's able to look out the door and I'm gonna turn get him a little cooler on his side. But it's in the 80s today, it's sunny, it's a nice day out. Um, so we'll be able to take our walk later. I didn't do my walk in the morning today like I did yesterday, but uh, we'll do it later this evening. And um, tomorrow we'll be out. And then Saturday is um, the first football game at Marion. And hoping I get to see my son play. We're gonna see. Um, but yeah, I'll be excited if I see him on the field, even if it's just for a little bit. I'll be excited trying to get a picture or something. So, yeah, so we got that Saturday. 
Then we got a cousin's dinner Saturday because we're having September dinner, September birthdays. We all the cousins, my sister, my two cousins who are sisters, my other cousin, and my other cousin who's out of town. She's not going to be able to make it. She lives in a town now, but we'll zoom her in or whatever, messenger her in or something. But uh, we always get together around our birthday. So we usually will do one for the March birthdays and the September is three of us for September birthdays. So we're celebrating the September birthdays. And, um, and then we'll do a November for my sister. And um, if the other one who's out of town, she's a late, she's a December. So we'll usually do November, December together or whatever but um so this is our opportunity to get together so i'm excited to see them on saturday after aj's game and then we're going to talk about trying to get a family reunion together so we'll get to get take talk about that for next year how you doing boo yeah right we need to hurry up because um it's less than a year away now that summer is about over so we want to start working on that get information out to everybody so and then sunday will be church and then monday my birthday my birthday my birthday is always around labor day so but yeah my birthday is monday and hopefully i'll see my son he said he was going to try to come home for my birthday let's check his schedule right now it looks like he's free but you know how them coaches and stuff are depending on how this game go they may be like no y'all still here we need to work on this you know who knows I want to see him um so we're not gonna do anything major or anything probably just get something to eat hang out as a family there is a movie i want to see and he wanted to see it too so i thought okay well i'll just wait maybe we can all see that together we'll see um but i don't care what we do i just want to see him. and uh yeah then we'll be back into next week so that's what's going on with me, guys. And I'll try to get some of that stuff this week and try to get my vlogs out timely because I know y'all like, girl, you've been doing vlog after vlog after vlog and y'all not used to that. And it's because I had filmed all that stuff and then got busy, wasn't able to edit it, trying to get take care of all AJ stuff. And then... Um, then I had the issue with my computer and had to switch everything over and all that kind of stuff. So now the vlogs are behind, but shoot, I didn't vlog that stuff. So, cause I was thinking about, you know what, they ain't gotta even see, I ain't even gotta show them, whatever. I'll just leave it alone. But then I was like, nah, I'm going, I didn't vlog all that stuff up to AJ's graduation. I at least wanted to get all that stuff on because those are his memories and he can go back and look at that stuff. Um, so I'm just trying to catch up, block, bomb, barge, you guys. So I think I, so I think um, I, that's it for the AJ's vlog stuff. And then I have one more uh, with me and Avery doing some stuff. I think, and I have one with me and my cousin doing something. And then I went out to lunch or dinner with a girlfriend. And then I got just one. So I think. I'm catching up, so hopefully I'll be able to just do one or two vlogs a month. That's my goal. I, my goal is not to do a vlog every other day like y'all. So this this week, so like I did one every other day. Anyway, guys, he is not home, but I am back home. So I'm going to cut this off here, and I'm going to get these groceries in the house, and I'll see y'all inside. Okay, guys, I'm back, and I'm doing this a little bit differently, so hopefully the lighting is okay. But I'm just going to go through what I got real quick. So I picked up some more Raisin Bran Crunch for me. My husband be eating it up, but it's for me. And I picked up two jugs of drinking, I'm sorry, three jugs of drinking water. And uh, I use these for my Keurig. I picked up a jug of Cran Apple Juice. My husband likes that. I like it too. And what we do sometimes is he'll take cran apple juice and um, dilute it with a little bit of water. I don't know what made him start doing that. I think when he was single, he did that to kind of spread, to stretch it or whatever. But and he called it his concoction. And I remember it was like, hey, you want some concoction when we were dating? And I was like, what is that? And I drank it and it was very refreshing, especially on a hot day. 
because it's not too sweet. You know, sometimes cran apple juice or cranberry juice can be a little tart or bitter. It kind of takes that down a notch, but it's still refreshing. So anyway, you kind of have to have to like it. Some people will be like, yeah, that don't sound good. But anyway, uh, so we drink it like that sometimes, and sometimes we drink it straight. It just depends. Bought some Dixie Bowls because who's trying to do a whole lot of dishes? Um, got some more oatmeal because he likes oatmeal for breakfast, and I do too sometimes. And this is the maple and brown sugar, lower lower sugar is what I got on that one. The cafe coffee breakfast blend for the Keurig, and we go between that and the medium roast. And then what I needed was some hand soaps. So I picked up this Kroger brand, never used it before. Normally I will get self soap or I'll get Dial or something like that, antibacterial for your hands. But I saw these, they were on sale, on sale for 89 cent or I don't know if that was even a sale, if that's the regular price, but they were 89 cent. Normally you're paying a dollar or more, even at the dollar store. So I said, let me get these. This one is coconut milk, so I like the sound of it. This one is lemongrass and basil, so I like the sound of that. And I got a couple more, but they got these things. Whoever bagged these groceries did it horribly. They got all kind of stuff not together. Picked, picked up some ding-dongs, which we don't need because we're trying to eat healthier. But every once in a while, you got to taste for some chocolate, right? Also picked up some mandarin oranges, no sugar added. Uh, little fruit cups. My son likes those, so if he comes home, I want those here. Plus, sometimes it's nice just to snack on those in between a meal, trying to grab something a little bit healthier. I mean, I know that ain't the healthiest, but it's no sugar added. It's a little bit healthier than doing chips or something like that. Bought some tomatoes. See, they didn't mix this in with other stuff. So here's another one. This is the honey, citrus, and shea butter. So that sounded good. And... I also got the antibacterial ripe melon. Um, but yeah, I got those. I wanted to see if how well they soap up and how they smell and stuff like that. I'll let y'all know. And then I got some, I'm almost out of my vitamins, so I got some Nature's Bounty Hair Skin and Nail Gummies with Biotin. So I thought I'd try this brand because my nails have been real brittle and breaking, so I was wondering if that would help me at all. And then I got some antibacterial dish detergent. I just got palm olive this time. And I'm not, you know, a stand of any brand. I use palm olive. Oh my goodness. Okay guys, sorry. My, my I was filming on my phone. My phone ran out of memory. We've had that discussion. Now I'm trying to film on my camera and my camera is loose. And my tripod for my camera is not down here. So I'm doing the best that I can. Hopefully, you guys can keep up. So I think the last place I left off was uh, palm olive. I use pretty much any dish soap and let, let, if it's on sale and if it's good and it's a name brand. I'm not sure if I showed the biscuits or not, but I bought biscuits because I need those. And then I said my plastic spoons because my husband was like, get plastic where so you don't have to do a whole lot of dishes. So, and it was all smushed up because they put the cran pineapple juice in with the plastic wear and smushed it up. That's why I say that they didn't do very good bagging. Also got frosted flakes, not sure if I showed that. Sorry if I'm going over some stuff again, but this is for my husband. I was saying that he likes um, sweet stuff after dinner. So every once in a while, he'll get a bowl of cereal after he's had his dinner and everything. Talked about he needs something sweet. And I was asking, do y'all do that? Do y'all's husbands do that? You make this nice dinner and then not long after dinner, they're eating again. And it's like, why don't you eat seconds? I don't want that. I want something sweet. So I got him Frosted Flakes because it was on sale. I also bought some toilet tissue and I got the Scott Comfort Plus. And guys, my mom put me on a Scott. I used to always do Northern, Cottonelle, something like that. And I still do. But she got me on Scott. I never thought Scott was good. Now, there is the regular Scott that's just like clear with blue letters, I think. that you That's the kind of stuff that they have in the different 
uh, restaurants and stores and stuff that's all hard and papery, don't get that. But this got uh, Comfort Plus or something like that. It's really, it's pretty soft and it's thick and it's absorbent. It's very much con um, on the same scale as Northern and Cottonelle, Charmin, stuff like that. Charmin is okay. The only thing about Charmin, sometimes it, the it feels like it's, like it's leaving lint everywhere and I don't care for that. But anyway, got some more mandarin oranges. I already talked about that, no sugar added. And then picked up some paper towel. This time I got Viva because this is what they had on sale. Paper towel is expensive, guys. So I usually will get Brawny, Bounty, Viva, and sometimes I'll get, um, I forget, I forget the other ones, but I got paper towels. So, and then I got a case of water. I left that out in the car for my husband to bring in. So y'all know what a case of water looks like. So I got a case of water. So that's pretty much it. I hope I showed y'all everything. So yeah, I didn't get too much. I basically just picked up water, which we needed. A um, couple things I wanted to try for my lunches. And oh, and then I was saying I got the Gear Deli Premium Caramel Sauce. I don't know if I showed y'all this or not, but I wanted this because I've been making iced coffee since it's hot in the evenings. We usually drink a hot coffee in the mornings and then sometimes in the evenings after we take our walk and we're sitting outside, we'll have an iced coffee. And um, I didn't have any caramel sauce or anything, so I saw some where someone had used some caramel sauce in theirs and then did it or whatever. So I said, let me pick this up and I'm gonna try it and see if I like it. Just more sweets that we don't need. Supposed to be on a health journey and we're doing that. But that might be a way to get in a little bit of sweet without eating cake or a ding dong or a whole lot of cookies or something like that. So anyway, guys, that is, let me get down. Okay, so that is my grocery haul. Now this battery is running out, so <laughs> I'm telling you, these cameras ain't trying to let me be great today. So that is it, and I will check in with you guys later. Bye.